So, on two ends, body cannot evolve, soul need not evolve. Then what are we trying to evolve? Something in between. Asanas, they improve our physical health and prepare us for pranayama. Pranayama builds our immunity. It increases our life force. Pratyahar, dharana, dhyan and samadhi. They are inner segments of our yoga practice, leading us to culmination of our consciousness. The entire purpose of yoga sadhana is to revolutionize this inner consciousness. And only when this consciousness of each individual in this entire globe reaches a critical mass, as they call egregore, humanity will change. There will be more peace, there will be more harmony. Meditation takes us to the deepest available consciousness each time. So I highly recommend you know, people to meditate and take advantage of it so that we can have, we can be in touch with innermost silence. And this becomes the source of all knowledge. Our perception also gets heightened under this silence. Silence meaning gathering all your energies, all your attention inward. And this inwardness heightens our perception. And after all, what is consciousness? Consciousness is nothing but degree of our awareness, degree of refined awareness. And this is possible only when we are silent. So, through silence, we learn how to manipulate, how to enhance our consciousness, which we can practice in day-to-day -day life. Silence begins or helps us initiate this process of evolution of consciousness. Your internal environment, the moods, your emotions, your thoughts, your habits, they certainly do influence our genetic expressions. Anyway, it only shows that we all are connected at multiple levels, intellectually, morally and spiritually. If we raise each day our consciousness, it is bound to have a snowball effect, you know, like what we call butterfly effect. As we evolve more and more, you know, there are individuals who understand that if I do such and such a thing, it is not going to bring about good results. They know ahead of time. There are certain individuals who would, while going through that particular process, you know, they will understand oh, whether I'm doing right or wrong. And if they become aware of it, that I'm doing it wrong, they have the ability to stop it. Some people, they say, oh, I already started it. Why? What is the point of stopping it? And some individuals, to me, they, even after they have gone through it, doing a wrong thing, they still don't get it. So, this is again a difference in how evolve your consciousness is all. So to improve our consciousness, once again, I cannot emphasize more and more and more and more the importance of meditation. Each day as we meditate, our spiritual state, our spiritual condition will go on changing. And every time we enter into a deeper level of consciousness, which is easily felt, with the help of this pranahuti, it becomes a child, child's play for me. Not only myself, but millions of people who have experienced the flow of this transmission, pranahuti, are able to experience deeper state of consciousness. When we talk of evolution of consciousness, that's the only thing I think that evolves in us. It is a fact that body cannot evolve within my lifetime. I can only age. My soul cannot evolve because it is immutable. It is purity. It is divine in nature, unchanging, eternal. So on two ends, body cannot evolve, soul need not evolve.
then what are we trying to evolve? Something in between. Consciousness. First of all, I have to understand what is consciousness. Consciousness to me is all about degree of awareness. This degree of awareness keeps on changing like my potential. As I dive deeper into my subconscious and as I soar higher in my superconsciousness through meditation, I create somehow a broadband of my present awareness through which all this information is exchanged. Isn't it wonderful? Increased awareness, increased consciousness, ever-changing consciousness will lead us continuously to ever-improving way of life. Life becomes joyful, or you might even say it becomes so blissful. You arrive at those lofty states so, so much praised in our tradition as Sat Chit Anand. Sat Chit Anand, it's not a mantra. To me, it's a coded word which is passed on from generation to generation. We have to decode it. What does it really mean? Sat, the ultimate truth, can be had if your Chit, your consciousness, becomes blissful. And this blissfulness can be arrived at when we realize our full potential. I can see my potential only when I look within myself. Deeper I go, more beautiful this potential appears. And who is going to take me to my deeper level of consciousness? My experience and experiences of millions of people shows that it is through this pranamti. And I, I say, please meditate, especially with this pranahuti. Within half hour, you will see the change in your consciousness. Shift in your consciousness will be so palpable. Something that you'll be able to feel here and now in this very moment.